In order to download shaders on Minecraft Bedrock Windows 10 or 11, the first thing you need to do is you need to open up any web browser and you need to go ahead and search up this website over here, mcpecentral.com. It will be linked in the description and in the pinned comment. So all you need to do is go to this website because this website is home to all of the working shaders for Minecraft Bedrock Edition, whether you're on Android, on mobile device, or if you're on Windows 10 or 11. So as you're able to tell, this website does have a nice interface to it. and there there is a bunch of different categories but obviously you want to go ahead and focus on the one that has shaders so go ahead and press on it just like so and then bam you'll notice that it will list out all of the different shaders for minecraft bedrock now some of these will require rtx however i'm going to be downloading a shader that doesn't require an rtx graphics card so that anyone with a windows device can go ahead and install it anyways guys from here what you need to do is you need to find a shader that you want to download so i think i'm going to be downloading this shader right over here so i'm gonna go ahead and just press on it just like so and then what you want to do is you want to scroll down and read all the information and there will typically be some images as well displaying exactly what the shader looks like so all you need to do is scroll down until you see the download link right over here it will say download and then it will be like a blue link over here so all you gotta do is press on it just like so and then it should take you to a website that looks similar to this now sometimes you might have to go through some advertisements such as link for or even loot lab so please be patient with that and that is basically so that the shader creator can get compensation for their work anyways guys what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and press on download and then it will be downloaded to your device right over here all right so i'm gonna go ahead and actually put my file on the desktop right over here so bam i'm just going to drag it out right over here okay guys now sometimes whenever you install a shader pack it might come in a .zip file and if it comes in a .zip file all you need to do is extract it however this one is already in a .mc pack additionally i made a in-depth tutorial showing you guys how to unzip files so if you want to go ahead and take a look at that feel free to do so but anyways boys you need to make sure that the shader actually does end in a .mc pack file so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to go ahead and right click on it again then we're going to go ahead and press on open with and we need to go ahead and select on Minecraft or if you want to open it on Minecraft preview or Minecraft education edition that is definitely something that you can do but I'm going to go ahead and open it up on Minecraft and then it's automatically going to boot up Minecraft bedrock edition. All right guys, so now that you loaded into Minecraft, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and press on settings. Then you wanna go towards the right and you wanna scroll down until you see global resources. From here, press on global resources, then select on my packs. And once you're over here, the next thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and find the shader that you did just download. So the shader we downloaded was called the Realismo Graphics version 1.2. So all you need to do is go ahead and press on activate and then you will notice it will be active right over here. And as you're able to tell, I do install a lot of things. So uh, that's how you know that this method actually does work. So anyways, boys, let's exit out. And now let's load into any Minecraft world. And here we are loaded into a Minecraft world. And you will notice that, yep, this shader did work. We do have a brand new sky over here and a brand new water as well. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you later, French fries.